Hello, class. Good evening. Good evening, Heidi. Good evening, Alex. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? Fine, teacher. <laughs> nice. Nice to hear that. <laughs> and mm -hmm. hey, good evening, Alex. How was your day? Easy, easy. Tiring. My day. Mm -hmm. It's tired. Al my. Always tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I imagine. You know, um, it's part of life. Life has ups and downs. Sometimes we have really relaxing days. Sometimes we have busy days, but that's life. Okay, so welcome. It's nice to be connected. It's eight already, and we are going to start our class. Okay, today we are going to finish. This is uh, section number three, which basically means that we need to finish today until uh, the midterm. Okay, I don't know if you have already completed the midterm, if you haven't done that yet. So you need to work on that today or tonight, okay? Because we don't have much time. Tomorrow we are starting a new uh, week, which is with, with uh, section number uh, four, basically, because we are finishing today with section number three. Okay, so welcome. It's nice to be here. It's nice to see you. If you turn on your camera, if you don't do it, I imagine you have problems with your camera but I really want you to participate. That is something that I always request from you guys, okay? So welcome, I see Miguel, I see Heidi, Alex, and Julio. Let me start sharing my screen with the first um, slide on, on my presentation. So tell me, anybody would like to share with me any experience on the platform? How's everything there? You're doing good. This uh, platform is finished exam and section three is in my work. Okay. <laughs> it's in, in capacity, in a capacitation is, is um, finished. It's got one form. Nice. Awesome. Say so you can say training. You know, training is, is like capacitation. Oh, training, okay. Yeah, training is okay. the best. I was, I was just saying training. You know. training. Okay. Thanks, teacher. Good. Thank you so much, Miguel, for sharing. Okay. I see Milton is here. And Miguel Lara is also here. And Blanca, she has a relaxing background. <laughs> so welcome. Thank you so much for turning on your cameras. That's really awesome. Let's see. So session number eight, which basically means today is the middle, right? We're just in the middle, halfway. For today, we have a review about relative clauses. This is a topic that we introduced yesterday. And we are going to have a reading about Harry Potter. And also, we are going to check if uh, any assistance is needed in regards uh, of the midterm. Okay, so that's basically it for today. We only have uh, 60 minutes, one hour. So let's get started, okay? Before I display my first slide, what do you remember about a relative classes from yesterday or what have you understood so far? Any idea, any comment? Hey. Um, we will use uh, for teens and who and that for people. Okay, I like it. So that's great. And how do we call or what do we call who, that, which? How do we call them? When I say who, that, which, who's, how do I call them? What is the name of these words I just mentioned? Who? Clauses? The clause, exactly, the clause is the sentence, right? 
That's the sentence. The clause, in other words, is a, is a sentence, but a simple sentence, right? Right, and so, but how do we call who, that, where, even, uh, whom, which, how do we call these words? Who remembers? Uh, relative pronouns. Uh, exactly, thank you so much. Relative pronouns, very good. Yesterday we said that each relative clause has one relative pronoun. The pronouns are these words I just mentioned. So thank you so much for that, that idea. Let's start Teacher, with- a question. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me, is in which part of the platform is, is that? That is in the video. I can uh, show you that, like, so you have an idea because I want you to take a look at that. That's really important. There's one video that explains relative clauses and the video doesn't provide uh, all these uh, relative pronouns because it just give you three, I think. That's which and oh, who, yes. and right, that's it. But then it is important to know that is, um, I mean, that there, there are more than that. There are others which we need to be aware of. For example, whom, even where is part of this, whose, which, um, explains or denotes possession. It's, it's important to know that in the video, if I show you, like, let me share the screen. This right here, it, our teacher here explains about relative clauses, right? And she provides uh, some examples, okay? Oh, yes. She doesn't uh, provide all the one that I'm mentioning, but I think it's okay to kind of like have an idea that there are more. Okay, so if you see this video, it provides the, the idea. Okay. Yesterday, we also said that we need to use relative clauses. When? Do you remember when uh, we can use relative clauses or why is it necessary to use relative clauses? When do we use them? Anybody remembers? In a specific time. Specific time, yes, and what else? Is that when you have uh, a question? Okay, well, uh, it's a question, specific time, but there's something else. Or describe. Describe, okay, we're getting closer. To describe what? The subject. Or the subject, awesome. It is to provide or add more details or more information about the subject, okay? That is something that we have to have in mind. When we want to add extra information about the subject, the noun, we add the relative pronoun, which belongs to a relative clause. And when we don't want to repeat or, or, or when we don't want to have two sentences separated, right? Two simple sentences, then we create only one sentence and that will be our relative clause, which will have one like main clause, which is the, and when, then we have one dependent clause. So we have two combined into one. We're going to work on that in a minute, okay? So good. We have relative pronouns and we also have uh, relative clauses. And we use these ones to add more information about the subject or the noun. And we use this when we don't want to have two separated simple sentences or, or clauses, which is the same thing. A clause is just another sentence. Now, help me please work on this. Well, this is just a reminder, okay? Section three for today plus a meter. This is week number two, okay? Just a reminder for you. Uh, let's see, I think we're good with the calendar, right? I heard great comments that you guys are on top of this and tracking the time, which is cool. Now let's get started. A really quick quest, okay? Number one. So let's find the relative pronouns, okay? Let's take a look at this one. First sentence. Miguel Ramirez, read the sentence and tell me the relative pronoun, please. I can eat the chocolate bar because it has nuts in, which I'm allergic to. Um, pronoun is 
What's relative pronoun? Relative pronoun. Is that? Hmm. Can you try to double check and see what is the relative pronoun? When it is adding more details about the noun. Oh, Extra information. That. So what, what is the one here? The sentence um, is, is about a chocolate. It's yeah. a team. And because, uh, for this one, uh, the, the relative problem is wish. Awesome. Yes. Okay, Wait. the chocolate bar, it has not in. The chocolate bar is a thing and the nuts it has is a thing. So which I'm allergic to? Exactly. So in this case, if we see, if we see here, if we say that that is a relative uh, pronoun, it doesn't make sense because that is only being what a demonstrative or demonstrative pronoun, that chocolate. So it's not adding any extra information, but which it is, which is saying or adding more information about our subject, which says, which I'm allergic to, okay? okay. So that is, that is the one we are looking for. I like it. So let's keep going. What about this one, guys? Uh, Brice, can you help me please with the next one? Mangoes, which are grown in tropical countries, are one of my favorite foods. What is the relative pronoun here? Um, which. Okay, we have which again. Thank you. Let's take a look. The next one, Milton, can you read this one, please? Are you bowling last night? Give me a walk. A walk. Wait. What is the relative pronoun here? Where? Where? Oh, remember the relative pronouns that we listed yesterday? Where, who, whom, whose, that, and which. And in this sentence, the cats that were caterwauling last night kept me awake what is the best one here where is sit considered a relative pronoun are you sure that 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 that, 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 that is a okay no problem thank you that is the one what about the last one jamal what Richard, is yes go ahead excuse me what is the meaning Caterwauling. <laughs> have you have you heard this this cat like um, on the roof and then like uh, like, like this, exactly that's exactly uh, okay. the one. But okay. That, that will you. be the caterwauling is the actions when cats cry. Okay. That's the action okay. when a cat is crying, fighting among each other, and blah, that's caterwauling. That's the action, okay? And then okay, you're like, you. wow, you want to sleep, but then they, they keep, you know, their battles. So yeah, that's the one. What about the last one, Jamal, who is a fantastic guitarist, has joined the school band, what's the uh, relative pronoun? Who? Okay, who? Who is a person. It's more likely that, that this is the one. We don't have anything else. We can also say that, but academically speaking, who is for people, right? So let's use who. Even though when I'm speaking informally, people might say that. But then in writing or academically, you have to say always who, okay? That is, that is something important. So which, which, that, and who. Yeah, let's keep going. I have another uh, quiz, quiz number two. Hmm. 
Can you match the main uh, clause to the appropriate relative clause? When it says main clause, guys, it's just the main sentence. And we say main clause because the main clause, it makes sense by itself, is independent. But then the relative clause is dependent because it doesn't make sense alone. You, you need to have a complement. But then uh, maybe this time, I want you to write it down on your notebook and start matching, okay? Connecting first column or the light blue column with the pink column. So I'm gonna give you maybe like five minutes so you can work on this, match it. I have my power system. The ambulance is to the child. God is scratching my arm. Okay, you have the uh, have hungry. Which have hungry. Well, what about if we connect? Only connect uh, this column with this column. So the cat scratch my arm, and then what is the best answer from the other column with the from the oh, pink okay. column? For example, the second. The second. I, I have a sister who is three years younger than me. Okay, like this one? Yeah. Okay, all right. We're gonna check the answer, but that's, that's Blanca's answer. Okay. Maybe you agree or disagree. What about the other ones? The second one, the, the padding pool in full of cool water and wish a fabulous on this hot day. Okay, thank you, Alex. We have another possible answer here. The paddle sure. pool. Uh -huh. uh, the cat is, is stretched my arm and who had fallen from the tall side. Hmm. Okay. The cat, not its who, is switch. Okay. Which sword. No. We have two opinions. Okay. The cat, which is for animals. Mm -hmm. is, uh, Teacher, sore is, is a toss. Uh, sore is when something is painful. Okay. It's if it hurts, it hurts, then it, it sores. Okay. Like it, Teacher, who, who is for people? Which may start. Okay, so can you say it again, please? Sorry. The cat is carved my arm, which made it yes. sore. Okay, so now the cat scratched my scratch. arm, which made it sore, like this sorry. one, Miguel? Okay. Yes, yes. the ambulance rushed to help the chill, chill, uh -huh. who had who fallen from, from the from slide. The okay, These I people. can see. Okay, let's, let's, we're gonna check. So the ambulance rushed. Rushed is a synonym of what? Rushed? The alert is no. Rush. Alarm. Rush. In this case, like it's ram. Okay, hurry, right, hurry. When you are in a hurry, you are in a rush. It means something quick. Rush, in this scenario, rush means like immediately, okay? Immediately very or faster. very fast, exactly. So mm -hmm. these, these are your uh, answers. Now let's check, maybe we are correct. Let's see. Look, yeah, right? 
we're right. Yeah. See, yeah, we're right. Yeah. Right. If you follow it, and then, yeah, correct, and yes. Okay. So I uh, give your give yourself a round of applause. You did it. That's really cool. I like it. Let me erase this. So now we can only see the answers. Okay. That's what it is. This is exactly what you guys did. Okay. We're doing good. I like it. I'm going to give you one minute for you to check your answers and also, um, you know, make the corrections if necessary. Okay, thank you so much. Let's move on. Now the challenge is uh, bigger, I think. Look at this one. We have other quick number, a uh, quick quest three. Wow, now this is uh, something that I wanted to do because this, this time is going to challenge you a little bit more because um, you're going to create, it says, can you break each relative clause sent back down into two single clause sentences? So this time is the other way around, okay? We're going to create two single sentences instead of having only one. How can we do it? Can we try with the first one? Look. How can we create two sen like simple sentences from this relative clause? Maybe I'm gonna give you some help. Or maybe you can, you know, try. And then I'm going to help you. We need to create two simple sentences from this. Because this is only one sentence, but this is a complex sentence. This is a relative clause. Create two simple sentences. How can we do it? Similar or, or equal to the, the sentence? Let's, let's use these ideas. Let's maintain the same meaning, but we are not going to use a relative clause which means that we are not going to use whose, which is the relative pronoun in this sentence. We are going to create two simple sentences, okay? okay. So how can we do it? Sure, maybe could be uh, the first one. I look just like my dad, the first one. And the second one, the hair, the hair is black too. You are very close, very close, <laughs> very close. Something is missing in the in the second sentence. Something is okay. missing. Uh -huh. And cool is in, in goose uh, goo. Good. Whose is it expressed only um, only like possession? And Who's his, means, oh, his there hair you go. black. His hair black. His hair is black too. I like it. Great. Mm -hmm. Send it, please. I can see Blanca sent. Uh, I have black hair like my dad. <laughs> okay. I like that one. But remember that we need to create two simple sentences. And in order for one to be a sentence, it needs to have a subject, a verb. Okay. And then in your case, Blanca, the second one is only like my dad. It is not a simple sentence because a simple sentence needs to have a verb in the subject. But I just heard it. Somebody said it. Okay, can you can you uh, send it, please? I'm gonna give you more more like uh, challenges. Look at this one. Look at this one. I have two more. Maybe 
I'm gonna show you the first one, but I want you to, somebody already said it in here. I think it was Nelsi. Yes. Send yes, the, yes send, teacher. Send the answer, please. Yes, I am going to say. I look just yeah. uh, like my dad, period. His hair is black too. <laughs> okay, we have two sentences. The two sentences oh. has a verb, has a subject. And let's take a look at the answer. The answer here is, look, is it similar like, like the one Elsie sent? Yes. I just look or I look just like mm -hmm. my dad, his hair is black too. Basically, that's the answer, okay? That is exactly what I'm looking for. Now I want to create two simple sentences, okay? So this is the other way around, okay? Now, instead of having a possessive clause, I mean, a relative clause, we want to create two sentences. Can you try with the second one, please? I'm going to give you two minutes to think about this. How can, how can we make this? Any idea? My rabbit does love carrot. Always on a smoke when I go to touch. Mm. My Just, rabbit. Uh -huh. Who loves carrot? I don't know. They always. They are always run up to me when I go, it's hot. I want to give you a tip here. Identify the relative clause, please. What is the relative clause here in this second one? Who, who loves who? carrot. Who, who loves carrot. This is the additional information, right? Yes. So that means that the second sentence needs to be created based on the relative clause, as you did in the first one. This is a relative clause. Oh. And you create, and Nelsie created the second sentence based on the relative clause. So do the same here. Because that is, as you can see, who loves carrot is in commas. And that is a relative clause. So that is additional information that we need to present into a, into a simple sentence. We can remove that and the sentence still makes sense. My rabbit always resigned to me when I go to eat hutch. Makes sense, right? So that the additional information is who loves carrots. So how can we create two simple sentences? It loves carrots. Alex says, I eat the grapes. I eat the grapes just to my mouth. Oh, that's, that is a different uh, example, right? Alex, <laughs> I eat the grapes just to my mouth. 
who's like to. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, in that one, I eat the grapes just to my mom. What is it in like, I eat the grape? I eat or I buy the grape just for my mom. That one, Alex, uh, we need to maybe think about if we want to add information, because who's belong, it then, it, it then notates or it conveys the meaning of possession, right, in that one. So maybe we need to think about if we want to use whose is because something belongs to the noun, okay, whose. In that one, maybe we need to double check the pronoun, the, the relative pronoun. Maybe it's not whose, maybe it's only who, so oh, it makes okay. sense, yeah. Because who's uh, describes possession, okay? Something belongs to someone, okay? So maybe we need to double check that one. But now let's think about this one we have here. This is the challenge, uh, guys. Okay. My, my rabbit always responds to me. Mm -hmm. I like it, Nelsy. I like it. Still, uh, you added mine. And mime in the second one is not, right? Maybe we can omit mime. And we can leave it into a different, like a different way. Maybe only rabbit. Or maybe like, yeah, like, like, look at this one. Because it's an animal. You can say it. Mm. Or you can say, or you can say rabbit. That's it. So it's connected, right? because we already mentioned already the rabbit, but you can say rabbit, but it, as if you only say rabbit, you feel as if that doesn't make sense, right? That's why you added my, and I, and, I, and, I, and I get your point, okay? I get your point, but this is the one. Look at, look at what it says. So basically now we're going the other way around. Now the additional information presented in a relative clause, we want to create another sentences. The sentence is simple, simple sentence, which might not make sense by itself, which might need a complement, okay? So this is the one. I'm not going to give you a hand this time, and I want Nelsie to write it down, but don't send the answer. I want others to, to participate, please. What about this one? What about the, the third sentence? Think about it, please. Teacher, what does it mean? Aching. Who legs? The spirit oh, uh, ache, aching. 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 Like, aching. Like, let me give, yeah, like, I have a headache. That's the same. Ache. With something, is, it's uh, really painful. If something hurt, that is aching. Ache, in this oh. case, is being used as a verb, like headache, backache, toothache, okay. earache. The ache is the one that we have here. Now it's being used as a verb, aching. Something, something really painful. So how can we make it? First step, guys, identify the relative clause. Hilton, any idea? Katie, any idea? Chris, any idea? Bea, Julio, Boris, Maritza, any idea? I have an idea, but okay. I don't know. Let it be. Let it flow. Okay. Michael <laughs> finally complete the race. Whose legs were aching? I like it. I and you are very close. But you are and still. His. Maybe oh. his. Okay. Or Michael finally completed the race. Uh, his they, legs they were aching. His legs, or oh, they're. Uh -huh. Yes. 
Their legs were aching. 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 Okay, you got it. Exactly. Now, uh, you're telling me the possessive adjective. You're not using whose. And that is something that we need to pay attention to. We do not want to use a relative pronoun because the relative pronoun will convert the next sentence into a relative clause. And in that case, we are not uh, following, we're not making two single simple sentences, okay? And you just gave me the answer. Um, let me show it to you. Okay, here we go. Look, Michael finally completed the race sentence number one. Period. His legs are where aching. His legs. That's it. That will be it. Okay. Now, because I see some of you still maybe wondering what's going on here. It is real English or we're just making things up. So what about if you think about two simple sentences, guys, that are connected or that we can combine and you give me some examples. I want to give you like maybe three minutes, maybe a pair work and you guys give me one or two examples because this is on the quiz, this is on the evaluation. And I want you to combine two individual sentences into only one. Let me see, my wife make, makes a delicious dessert. You're missing an S dessert, whose cake is fabulous. Um, the whose are the cakes from my wife? My, my wife, whose cakes are fabulous, makes a delicious dessert. Yeah, maybe the, only the only the whose cake put Who it after that? my wife. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. So yeah. That's a, that's a cool example. Now, what about if you give me two simple sentences and you give me one, one uh, and then you give me one relative clause? I'm going to give you one or two minutes individually because time is really like, it's going really fast and I still need to go over a reading. But then, um, but I want you to create at least one. There are 10 students connected, so maybe one each. So we're gonna have 10 sentences. So do this, send me the two simple sentences and then send me the relative clause that you combined. Think about it, please. Two minutes. you have your example please yes uh, share it with me and with the class of course
Okay, I see some examples here. Teacher. Yes. Este have a a coach. A, the trans, uh, translation. Oh, the translation. Okay, the translation is where a rabbit lives. How do you how do you how do you okay, call okay. how do you call where a rabbit lives? The vet. <laughs> so you can say like con. I think it's conejera. That's what you say. Ah, okay. Yeah. La jaula or where it okay. lives. Yeah. Okay. The, the boy or oh, my dog was hungry. It was it was eaten. It was eat complete your team. It was eat. Maybe we want to double check. It was eat. Maybe it was eating or it ate. Think about uh, the maintain the same uh, tense. Maybe we want to say my dog was hungry. He, he ate or it ate uh, completely your dinner. And then now let's think about how we can make one, one single sentence using the relative pronoun. The boy is watching, remember, after is, we need to say the ing, the boy is watching, he's serious. He loves that, watching. So now, Breeze, how can we make only one sentence? Only one, using the relative pronoun, which will be a relative clause. I like Teacher. that. One. Uh -huh. Teacher, um, my dog who loves cookies always room the up the mean when I go to the east pillow. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And okay, my dog who loves cookies uh -huh. always runs up to me when I go to the to its pillow. Pillows, okay. Yes. Now, that is the relative sentence, right? Relative sentence, relative clause. Now, how can we make that one into two simple sentences? Because you already created the, the relative clause. Now, mm -hmm. your challenge is the other way around, like back down into single sentences, okay? So that's your challenge because you already have one. What about the other ones, guys? I have 11 now, 11 connected. He loves the series. Teacher. Oh, Teacher. Yes, go ahead, please. My example is my wife, who's she don't like a work, uh, finally buy a car. He changed. My mm -hmm. wife finally buy a car. But the, I don't know the put the the compliment. Okay. And what is what is the relative clause? Who and what did you say after who? Who? Who his? Who? I need My, to uh -huh. because the, I the idea is there. I'm sorry. Go ahead, please. The center is my wife. My my wife who's. Uh, she don't like a work. Finally, buy a car. In the my, sentence, in the me, answer, me. my wife finally buying a car. Buy buy a car. I I, I confuse in the in the I, compliment. I think I, I want to say uh, my my wife finally uh, maybe. I, go, bought a car, let's say. My, my wife, uh, and then she doesn't, she doesn't, and then the other will be, she doesn't like to walk. She doesn't like to walk, okay. My wife finally bought a car. She doesn't like to walk. Yes, she doesn't, that would, she doesn't okay. like to walk. And then that will be, your two sentences are this one. Look, I just send them. My wife finally bought a card. She doesn't like to walk. Those okay. ones, Milton, are your two individual sentences, simple sentences. The, the one you mentioned already is a relative one because you are only telling me one complex sentence, okay? So that's okay. the idea. That's the idea. You got it. Thank Very you. good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. There's some, there are, there are, uh huh. An example is uh, my father is lived later, 
go watch the movie Fast and Furious ah. in Netflix. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, my father who? What do you say after who? My father is Liv Lider uh, who watched the movie Fast and Furious. My, can you send it on the chat, please? I will appreciate it. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, my father, my, my, this one that Bruce sent, I want to check. Uh, my, the boy is watching his series. He loves that. He loves that series who watching every day. Mm, something needs to double check here because the boy is watching his series. He loves, he loves that, right? So you can say um, the boy who, what? Who loves, because that is only a demonstrative or demonstrative pronoun, okay? Maybe we need to specify a little bit more. So you can say the boy, comma, who loves a uh, series, comma, is watching them or is watching them every day or something like that. You need to still add some other compliments. So the two sentences, when you make them into uh, into one, they make sense. Because what you're giving me as your uh, relative close, who he loves that series, the that you are using there, um, is not is not on the first sentence. And then who um, is not being used as the relative pronoun. So it's kind of like, you need to really like double check maybe the, this idea. I want to really help on this. So I'm going to create one. See, taking your ideas into account. Let me see. The boy, the boy, um, the boy is watching his series. So that means that he's doing it at this moment. Okay. The boy is watching his series. And then let's keep, let's remain the same tense. He, he loves, or he loves, uh, he loves um, doing it or he, or he loves um, what he loves doing that maybe and then let's now think about the relative um, relative sentence so the boy the boy comma who loves um, watching, maybe in this case, uh, watching, watching a series is doing I know I'm trying to, I just type in there. The boy is watching his series. He loves, uh, one, I don't want to say doing, because if I say doing, it's like, it's too general. That's why it won't make sense. The boy is watching his series. He oh, loves man. watching. And then the dots. The boy is watching his series. He loves watching them every day. I'm going to write every day, so it makes sense. See, I'm trying to take your ideas so I can create one. I don't want to change the whole idea. Let's see. Okay. Think about one while I'm trying to help on this exercise, please. Because I don't want to remove the, the main idea of what she's saying here. The... Now I got it.
Okay, I just try to create uh, one based on the on the ideas. Let's see who sent them here. I think it was Breeze. Breeze, I try to create one example. So it makes sense, okay? Because I know if you don't maybe provide the details that you need, or maybe mm -hmm. that we need to express, it will be confusing when converting into one sentence. That's why I wrote this. The boy is watching his series and then he loves watching his favorite series. So we have two, two sentences. And then I try to create one, which is into a relative clause. The boy who loves watching series is watching his favorite one. Okay, in this case, I remove I remove or I use or I included one relative pronoun in the second sentence, okay? So I try to maintain the same idea. I know if we don't add more details as you did in the first one, then it will be kind of confusing to create, you know, one single sentence. That's why it took me some time, but this is what I suggest on this scenario, okay? Just uh, write it down if you would like to, it's on the chat. Let me take a look at the next ones here. My dog, my dog was hungry, which eating, comp mm, well, in this case, we need to double check. Let's see, my dog was hungry, which eating complete dinner. Well, uh, what do you want to say here, Alex? My dog was hungry. Mi perrito, mi estaba hambriento. And then, uh, eh, el, el, con su cita completa. <laughs> uh, right, because eating means comiendo, right? If you want to say, which, um, maybe if we want to say, my dog was hungry, was, was hungry, right? And then, the, what is the other simple sentence? My dog was hungry, that's first sentence, period. And then, he ate because was hungry is the past. So we say, my dog was hungry, period. He ate your complete dinner. Now let's think about the relatives clause. My dog was hungry, period. He ate or your complete dinner. Now you can say, my dog who or which or that ate your complete dinner was hungry. Let me send it to you. This one, uh, so let me see, my dog, my dog was hungry. That's sentence number one. Okay. Second sentence, we can say he ate, same tense, past your complete dinner. So, so look at this one. I sent you, at this moment, I sent you the two simple sentences. My dog was hungry. Second sentence, he ate your complete dinner. So how, we can, how can we create one single sentence? So that's the challenge. You can say, uh, my dog, my dog, and then now we need to add the relative clause with more detail. My dog, you can say which or that, it's okay. I'm not going to use uh, which, which ate your complete dinner. So um, this is my relative uh, close comma, was hungry. Look at this, this is easier. Okay, I just sent you the other, the one suggested for uh, only one sentence. We have two simple sentences and then we create only one. But then the idea, guys, is to maintain, to remain with the same tense. So it makes sense, okay? If it is the past, maybe you want to give another sentence with the same tense, okay? So it, it will be like, uh, it will make a little bit more uh, sense of, of it, okay? I don't know okay. if there is there is there is any other example, guys, that you want to check. I know this is little time we have. And maybe tomorrow we're going to check on the reading because I don't want to move on to the next uh, because topic because this is this one is it requires a little bit of time. Any other example that you want to check or maybe is there any um, 
any other or any question in regards of the test or any specific question that you might have on the exercises on the platform? I can I continue um, uh -huh. after class working in the platform. Okay, you will continue working on that. That sounds really cool. And what about um, any other example, like with this, this structure, relative clauses? I love, I love Coop. Uh, makes, I uh, makes for dinner, for cooking dinner. Mm -hmm. Um, sorry, yes, is um, uh -huh. I, I might dinner good love cooking. What what is uh, the first one, please? Can you send the first the first sentence? I love I I love cook. Mm -hmm. uh, I make I make a cooking dinner. I love cooking, and then the second sentence is. I love uh, cooking. Uh, makes cooking dinner. Mm -hmm. I love cooking, and then I. Uh, this is this is what we need to uh, consider. A relative clause is used when we want to add more information about the noun, about the subject, about. So that is what we want to. What, this is when we need to use a relative clause. And then um, let's think about uh, your two sentences. Can you give me the first sentences? The first sentence, please, Miguel. The first sentence you're saying. The first sentence is. I love cook. I love. I love cooking, right? I love cooking, right? Yeah. And then what do you love cooking? What? Anything in specific? I love cooking. Um, Maybe a compliment for that. I love cooking what? Dinner. I love cooking dinner, okay? And what yes. is the second simple sentence? Uh, second is uh, I cooked dinner yesterday. Oh, but in that case, if you say I am cooking dinner yesterday, cooking dinner maybe yesterday. you want to say I was cooking because yesterday cooking. is the past. But in that case, if we say I was cooking uh, dinner yesterday, yesterday. Now, okay. let me send it to you. Uh, I love cooking. I love cooking dinner. I was cooking dinner yesterday. So now I send it. Can we make one relative clause from this one? What do you think? I love cooking dinner. I was cooking dinner yesterday. Mm -hmm. Please. Uh -huh. How can we make a relative clause? Uh, I cooking dinner yesterday that I love cooking. Uh. The second, the, the second sentence needs to have a verb and it needs to have one verb. And then uh, we cannot only say, but I love cooking dinner. I was cooking dinner yesterday. Hmm. Now let's think about how we can make this into one sentence. Can we really use, or can we really create one relative clause with these two sentences? Are we adding, or can we add more information about the, about the, the noun, let's think about it. I know it's all, I know it's time, it's okay. I will just, just want to finish with this exercise. Can we think about how can we make one single sentence with these two ones, guys? So we use a relative pronoun. What comes to your mind? Let me work on that. I love cooking dinner. And then what do I want to say? Do I want to add information about me or do I want to add information about the action? 
or do I want to add information? Because if it's about me, then it might not be possible because the second complement is another action. So we have two actions here. That's why if, you, if we try, maybe if we add more details, we can complete this exercise. But what I'm taking a look here, if I add a relative pronoun on this sentence that, that, I, that you just sent me, maybe what I can do is add more information about dinner because dinner is a noun. And we have said that we only uh, use relative pronouns when we want to add information about uh, nouns or extra information. So I love cooking dinner, which, um, which is maybe, which, which is an activity that I did yesterday. I'm trying to, you know, use other words so it makes sense because what I want to really explain or add more details about is in this case cooking dinner which is cooking dinner it might be just an activity right it might be just a noun so in that case maybe let me think i will say i love cooking dinner, dinner. uh if i say uh, which who who was yesterday uh no. no because in this case if what do we want to add information about is it about uh, the action or the activity or cooking dinner? Because if I say who, it might not make sense because I'm talking about me, okay? So if it's me, myself, and I want to add information about me, that's why it won't make sense. If you say who and I, like it doesn't, it doesn't match. So what I suggest here is the, is the following. I love cooking dinner, which, um, is I'm going to change something. I yeah. I'm going to say the following. Okay, if I think if I can think about any other one, I will share it with you later. I love cooking dinner, which which is something I was doing yesterday. I, I would suggest this one, okay? Because the thing is that we have two activities. And then mm -hmm. what do I want to say? Do I want to add more details about the, the activity or the or cooking dinner? If, if that is the idea, then we need to change maybe what we want to add on the, on the second, on the second uh, clause or on the second sentence. So I would say, I love cooking dinner. I was cooking dinner yesterday, so maybe I want to say mm -hmm. I love cooking dinner, which is something I was doing yesterday. If I want to add, uh, which if I want to add more details about dinner, oh, so well I will I will leave it like that, and maybe uh, if there is another like uh, let's say uh, details that I want to add about me, maybe I need to change the subject or maybe I need to change the idea that I want to describe. But as of now, I will put it like this. And then tomorrow, let's do the following because I know some of you guys are like there and I don't know what's going on there. So we need to maybe get more ideas, more examples, more simple sentences, and then let's work on creating more uh, relative clauses, okay? So I know I have exceeded already the schedule, but please start like maybe checking or creating your examples and tomorrow we double check this, okay? I know relative clauses is a topic which we need to uh, maybe dedicate some time, okay? But I do appreciate your ideas. I do appreciate your time, guys. Uh, have a good night and then tomorrow we'll talk on this, okay? Get ready with your examples so we can uh, enhance this experience on relative clauses. Okay. Have a good one and take care. Bye bye. Good night. Bye -bye. Thank bye. you, teacher. All right. Bye bye. Good night. Good evening. See you tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow.